Hi, this is Father Paul from the Sunday Mass, and I just wanted to take this opportunity to touch base with you for a moment during this most difficult time. You know, because of the way we produce the Sunday Mass and because of our production schedule, we don't always seem to be current with what's going on in the world in our prayers. But I wanted to assure you that each day, each week, we are praying for our world, for our nation, for our church, for all the communities affected by this virus, for all the people affected by it. And we thank you for being part of our worldwide faith community. And we wanted you to know that we will be with you every week here at the Sunday Mass. The following is a paid program for Passionist Communications. Welcome everyone to our celebration of the Sunday Mass, a ministry of the Passionist community. It is March 29th, uh, the fifth Sunday of Lent. Our presider today is Father Robert Jurger. So if you have your prayer guide, take it out, turn to page 61, and let us begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. And brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. By your help we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which out of love for the world your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and have you rise from them, O oh my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live, and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. 
Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit, if only the spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies, also through his spirit dwelling in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will never die. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The sisters of Lazarus sent word to Jesus, saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end in death, but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus very much. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Jesus became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, where have you laid him? They said to him, sir, come and see. And Jesus cried. So the Jews said, see how much he loved him. And when he cried out, Jesus said in a loud voice at the tomb, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, untie him and let him go free. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So one uh, very cold uh, November night in Ronkonkoma. Does anybody know where that is? Not too far from here on Long Island. About six uh, teenagers were in a car. They had a 20-pound frozen turkey that they had stolen 
with a stolen credit card. And one of the kids decided that this frozen turkey was just like a stone. He was going to throw it outside the window at an oncoming car. And he did. And it went through the windshield. And it destroyed the woman who was driving her face. Her name was Victoria. And uh, she was unconscious for many, many weeks. And those kids left her on the side of the road. Well, they were arrested. And uh, the one guy who threw the turkey like a rock, he, uh, he was up to get 25 years in prison. And the woman, Victoria, his name was Ryan, said, what is Ryan like? How did he grow up? What would cause a kid to do something like that? And so she went to the district attorney out on Long Island, and she said, please don't give him 25 years. Please don't take his life away. He's got to be responsible, but give him a reduced sentence and let him do community service. I don't want to take that kid's life away. And the judge listened to her, gave him six months and uh, community service for a year, which he extended for many more years. He went in front of her in the court and sobbed in her arms, and she held him and forgave him. You know, that turkey was like a rock. Could do a lot of damage. And that's uh, exactly um, what this is about in the gospel today. You know, stones, removing stones. There was the stone in front of Lazarus, and Jesus said, remove it. And then he said to the people when Lazarus came out, don't let that stone be in the way you untie him, you set him free. That's what Lent, that's what the coming of Easter is about, isn't it? That if we are holding anything hard in our hearts or any kind of stone or we've, we've hurt somebody in any way or we've been hurt by them, we can untie them like Victoria did with Ryan and set them free. There is nothing so hard that it can't be set free. There's nothing so damaging or sinful that it can't be forgiven. So as we approach Easter, whatever might be hard in our hearts or whatever suffering we have had because somebody threw a rock at us, then uh, if we forgive, we'll be able to go free. Amen? Amen. 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 Okay, let us stand now and pray our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. 
I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord has done great things for us, so with confidence we place our prayers and needs before our God. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for healing for the ill, comfort for the grieving, faith for the doubting, hope for the hopeless, and the peace of God's kingdom for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all in leadership, that the wisdom and grace of God's presence will guide their decisions and actions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of our benefactor, the intentions of our television parishioners that will be placed next to the altar, and for Mildred Goglia, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Create a clean heart in us, O God, and hear the prayers we have placed before you today through Christ our Lord. When Jesus wept the falling tear, in mercy flowed beyond all bound. When Jesus groaned a trembling fear, seized all the guilty world around. When Jesus wept the falling tear, when Jesus wept the falling tear, in mercy flowed beyond all bound. When Jesus groaned a trembling fear, Seized all the guilty world around. I pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all this holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith. Graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as true man, he wept for Lazarus, his friend, and as eternal God raised him from the tomb, just as, taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Nicholas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now let us together pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sin of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I am the bread of life, you who come to me shall not hunger, and who believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father beckons, and 
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you, everyone, for celebrating with us today. A special thanks to Father Robert for leading us in that celebration. And to the eighth grade from the Immaculate Conception Catholic Academy and some of our friends and parishioners here at the Immaculate Conception Parish for joining us and helping us to pray and to celebrate. And even though we're near to the end of Lent, you can continue to send in your prayers and needs and petitions as we wander through the rest of Lent and into the Easter season. In fact, you can send us your prayers and needs and petitions anytime, and please be assured that they will get to our altar uh, to be prayed for. Have a great week, everyone, and until we meet again next Sunday on Palm Sunday, Passion Sunday, may the passion of Jesus Christ be always in your heart. Come to me, all you weary, with your burdens and pain. Take my yoke on your shoulders and learn from me. I am gentle and humble, and your soul The proceeding was a paid program for Passionist Communications.